Good evening and welcome to our 39th SIM Science and Engineering Award Ceremony. I'm Dr. Stephanie Houston, Assistant Superintendent of the Innovation and Engagement Branch at the San Bernardino County Superintendent of Schools. It's my pleasure to open this fantastic celebration of scientific and engineering excellence. Tonight we're here to honor and celebrate our students, their dedicated teachers, families, and administrators. Thank you for supporting your students and their achievements. Our Master of Ceremonies for the evening is Marcos Ruiz. He will begin in a few moments, but first I'd like to introduce Mr. Ted Alejandre, San Bernardino County Superintendent of Schools, who makes tonight's event possible. Welcome to the 39th Annual Science and Engineering Fair Awards Ceremony. This year, 185 students representing 13 school districts and charter schools participated in the three county event that includes San Bernardino, Inyo, and Mono counties. The students recognized this evening represent the winning entries from their respective schools and districts based on local competition. We are extremely proud of the many engaging and complex scientific and engineering projects developed and presented by students across these counties. Each year, participants share their creative abilities, knowledge, and interests with experienced judges who have background knowledge in specific areas of science and engineering. All student projects have been judged on various criteria from well-designed data collection methods, systemic analysis, recognition of potential impact of science and society and economics, engineering design process, content, clarity of presentation, and originality. Winning students of this year's Science and Engineering Fair will receive recognition in the form of medals, and trophies, and special awards. Students in grades four through five were eligible to compete in 10 separate competition categories. Students in grades six through eight were eligible to participate in 20 competition categories. And seniors in grades nine through 12 compete in 15 categories. These categories range from aerodynamic, biochemistry, environmental engineering, physics and astronomy, to zoology. We congratulate each student for a job well done. For some students, tonight will start their journey to state level competition as we announce the gold winners of the junior and senior divisions. But before we begin our awards this evening, I would like to express my appreciation to the many individuals and organizations who make the science and engineering fair possible. First, I would like to acknowledge and thank the dedicated leaders who serve our schools on the San Bernardino County Board of Education. Board President Ken Larson, Board Vice President Laura Abernathy Mancha, Trustee Rita fernandez Loof, Trustee Hardy Brown II, and Trustee Andrea De Leon. I would also like to acknowledge and thank the Science and Engineering Fair's biggest local community supporter, the professional engineers in California government, also known as PECG. Thank you. And now I would like to introduce the Assistant Superintendent of Education Support Services, Ms. Mickey Imbody, whose branch leads this event. Good evening. I am Mickey Imbody, Assistant Superintendent of Education Support Services for the San Bernardino County Superintendent of Schools. The SIM Science and Engineering Fair brings together students, teachers, and scientists from San Bernardino, Inyo, and Mono counties. Year after year, this fair contributes to the development and cultivation of student interest and awareness of the importance of engineering and science in their everyday lives and motivates students to initiate and complete scientific inquiries in their special areas of interest. When students develop skills in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, they are laying the groundwork for their future success. United States Navy and NASA flight engineer Victor Glover Jr. is currently posted on the International Space Station for six months. 
He is the pilot and second in command on the Crew-1 SpaceX Crew Dragon Resilience. Commander Glover was born in Pomona, California and graduated from Ontario High School and the California Polytechnic State University. Let's hear from Commander Glover about his journey so far. I saw a shuttle launch when I was in elementary school and I thought I really want to fly that. And that's where it began. He is a Navy commander, a naval aviator, and a test pilot. He was selected as an astronaut in 2013. This is his first space flight, introducing NASA astronaut Victor Glover. First and foremost, I'm just grateful to God and to my family. To work and live in space is just a humbling and amazing blessing in and of itself. This is a test pilot's dream. Flying has been such an important part of my professional life, and I love to do it. 64,000 feet, that's the highest up I've ever been above the ground. And so to get to a point beyond that, um, that'll be a little special moment. I'm a rookie astronaut, I'm the pilot, and gonna be learning the ropes from a very experienced crew. Trying to balance that, enjoying and living in the moment, but also managing the responsibilities to make sure that we get to space safely. I'm looking forward to that uh, juxtaposition of emotion, I think. Tell me about how you ended up here. I think for every astronaut, that's, uh, that's kind of a different story. Ooh, wow, that goes way back. So high school, athlete, um, loved being a part of a small high-performing team, wrestling and football. Was fortunate to wrestle in college while pursuing my engineering education. I actually originally wanted to be a Navy SEAL. That's what started my journey in the Navy, and I wound up deciding to go into aviation and learn to fly. The love of flying and being a part of a small, very specialized, high-performing team that gets to do things in really interesting and challenging environments. The astronaut corps is the epitome of that. This is truly an exciting time for uh, human spaceflight on our nation. And believe me, it's only gonna get better as we charge off into the future. We've been working with our partner SpaceX for years. It's, been, it's just been amazing to learn about the vehicle um, and to just spend time getting to know their flight control team and their trainers. It's creating sort of a new culture that is some kind of a balance between the two. The fact that it takes thousands of people all over the world to get us ready, it's humbling and overwhelming, and I, I wanna do my best because I represent them. So thank you for your support and for your love, and know that you're flying with us on Crew One. On February 18, 2021, NASA's Mars Exploration Program, Mars 2020, experienced success when the Mars rover, Perseverance, and helicopter drone, Ingenuity, made a safe landing on the surface of Mars. Perseverance's mission is to explore the planet by taking photographs and collecting data and transmitting back to NASA's JPL. Rock and soil samples will also be collected and eventually brought back to Earth for closer in-person inspection when Perseverance makes its trip home. The Mars 2020 Prime mission is set to last one Mars year, which is approximately 687 Earth days. Next, I'd like to introduce you to the person who leads this fantastic science and engineering fair, our science program coordinator, Mariano Aranda. Thank you, Mickey. Hello, everyone. I am Mariano Aranda, coordinator of the San Bernardino Inyo and Mono County's Science and Engineering Fair. I would like to thank our local business and community supporters, one of which is a long-standing sponsor of this event, the Professional Engineers in California Government. Thank you, PECG, for your generous contribution and volunteer support. Founded in 1962, PECG represents 13,000 state employed engineers and related professionals responsible for designing and inspecting California's infrastructure, improving air and water quality, 
and developing clean energy and green technology. Let's hear from one of our PECG Science Fair Committee members. Hi, my name is Omar Perez. I'm an Inland Empire Professional Engineer in California Government and Science Fair Committee member. COVID-19 has affected the current academic activities, but the Science Fair must go on. This year, the Science Fair is going virtual. Inland Empire PEG section is proud and happy to sponsor and support the Science Fair. Now more than ever, science and engineering play a big role in everyday life. The students participating in this fair are tomorrow's scientists, engineers, and innovators. PEG is proud to play a small part in their future. The Inland Empire section has been involved with the school science fair for over 20 years. The Inland Empire section provides scholarships to the students and financial assistance to the science fair. Our PEG members donate their time to serve as science fair judges, but this year it will be challenging due to the fair being virtual. There will be no personal one-on-one -on -one interaction with the students, but our members are up to the challenge and are also looking forward to review all the various projects submitted by the students. This has been a challenging year for all of us, but the Inland Empire PEG members are happy to participate in the science fair. Participating in the science fair brings a little bit of normalcy to all our members. Inland Empire section would like to thank all the participants, the students, the teachers, and the mentors. Thank you. This evening, we have a special message for you from PECG, including the announcements of their elementary, junior, and senior division winners. Hello, everyone. My name is Elahe Hadipur. I'm currently the director of the Inland Empire PECG. PECG stands for Professional Engineering California Government. PECG, or PEG, is always been a support of Science Fair by providing judges and also award to the top three winners. This year, considering all the challenges we were facing, Science Fair was another success. And here we are to announce the top three winner for this year. For the elementary division, the award of $250 goes to Christine Sohid from the County Spring Elementary Chino Valley USD. Her project was electric car batteries used to power a house back up to achieve 100% renewable energy. Her project code is E07-250. For the junior division, the award of $750 goes to Amber Lynn from the County Spring Elementary, Chino Valley, USD. The project name was Fundamental of Fog Formation and Measuring Cloud Opacity. The project ID number is J09-073. For the senior division, the award of $1,000 went to Ellery, Ellery McQuillan from the Lee Wining High School, Mono County, quantifying volume of the Donna Glacier using field measurement 3D modeling. The project ID number is S09-007. I want to congratulate the winners and also all the participants and people who helped to make the science fair be another success and hope to see everybody safe and sound next year presenting science fair personally. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Director Hadapur. And congratulations to Christian Sohid, Amber Lynn, and Ellery McQuilkin on their winning projects. And now, we will continue this year's Science and Engineering Fair Award Ceremony with the Local Community Awards. Please welcome our Master of Ceremonies, Marcos Ruiz. Good evening. My name is Marcos Ruiz, and it is my honor to be here and share in this special event. Before the presentations of award begins, I would like to acknowledge the many students who participated in this year's fair and congratulate each and every one of you on a job well done. 
All participants excelled at their school or district fairs, making them eligible to compete at the county level. Congratulations, SimSEF participants. Teachers and coordinators, the SBCSS Student Events Department will be contacting you next week to organize a distribution of awards. And now, the presentation of the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair Regional Awards. Winners of these awards will receive a certificate from the agency or association named on the award. The first Regeneron ICEF Regional Award this evening is the American Meteorological Society Award. This award is given to students who show great creative scientific endeavor in the areas of atmospheric and related oceanic and hydrologic sciences. There are two winners of this award. The winners of the American Meteorological Society Award are Amber Lynn from Chino Valley Unified School District and Ellery McWilkin from Eastern Sierra Unified School District. The next Regeneron ISF Regional Award is the American Psychological Association Award. This award recognizes outstanding research in psychology in the junior or senior division under the category of behavioral and social sciences or any category related to psychology. The winner of the American Psychological Association Award is Maria Watkins from Upland Unified School District. The next Regeneron ISF Regional Award is the ASM Materials Education Foundation Award. This is given to the Best Materials Engineering Project. The winner of this award is William Sehigan from Chino Valley Unified School District. Our next regional award is the Association for Women Geoscientists Award. This award is given to a female student whose project exemplifies high standards of innovativeness and scientific excellence in the geosciences. The winner of the Association for Women Geoscientists Award is Ellery McWilkin from Eastern Sierra Unified School District. Next is the Department of Defense STEM Leadership Prize. This prize is awarded to one qualified individual or group junior project that excels in STEM knowledge and technical skills, demonstrates problem solving skills and determination to overcome challenges throughout research and exemplifies leadership qualities through excellent communication skills and creative thinking. The winner of the Department of Defense STEM Leadership Prize is Varun Srivastava from Redlands Unified School District. Next is the Lemelson Foundation Early Inventor Prize. This award is given to the junior division project that best exemplifies the ideals of innovative thinking by addressing a challenge you see in your community and creating a solution that will improve the lives of others. The winner of the Lemelson Foundation Early Inventor Prize is Barbara Gonzalez from Fontana Unified School District. Next is the Mu Alpha Theta Award. This award is given to students who demonstrate the most challenging, thorough, creative investigation of a problem involving mathematics. The winner of the Mu Alpha Theta Award is Yuan Bai from Stone Ridge Preparatory Academy. The next Regeneron ISEF Regional Award is the NASA Earth System Science Award. This award is given to students who exhibit a clear and focused purpose on Earth system science that is testable using the science process. The winner of the NASA Earth System Science Award is Ellery McWilkin from Eastern Sierra Unified School District. Up next is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Award. This award goes to research that emphasizes NOAA's mission of science, service, and stewardship in climate, weather, ocean, and coastal sciences. The winner of the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration Award is Ellery McWilkin from Eastern Sierra Unified School District. Our next Regeneron ISF Regional Award comes from the United States Navy and Marine Corps Office of Naval Research. This Naval Science Award is given to an innovative scientific and technological solution that can address current and future Navy and Marine Corps requirements. The winner of the Office of Naval Research Award is William Sehagun from Chino Valley Unified School District. Up next is the RICO Sustainable Development Award. This award is given to the student whose outstanding project addresses issues of environmental responsibility and sustainable development. The winner of the RICO Sustainable Development Award is Jesse DiCenso from Upland Unified School District. Next is the Society for In Vitro Biology Award. This award is given to the most outstanding senior division project exhibiting in the areas of plant or animal in vitro biology or tissue. The winner of the Society for In Vitro Biology Award is McKenna Bailey and Kira Feifengcheng from Chino Valley Unified School District. 
Next is the United States Agency for International Development Science Champion Award. This award recognizes an exceptional project exhibiting the potential to make an impact on addressing international development challenges and is given to the most outstanding project with relevance to solving an important global development change. The winner of the United States Agency for International Development Science Champion Award is Jose Centeno, M.I. Toy Lobana, Frida Monreal from Fontana Unified School District. Now we'll be recognizing the winner of the United States Air Force Award. This award goes to the student achieving an outstanding science or engineering project. The winner of the United States Air Force Award is William Sehagun from Chino Valley Unified School District. Our next Regeneron ISEF Regional Award is the U.S. Metric Association Award. This award is for a student whose project involves a significant amount of quantitative measurement and which best uses the SI metric system for those measurements. The winner of the U.S. Metric Association Award is Komal Kar from Chino Valley Unified School District. Now is the U.S. Stockholm Junior Water Prize. This award is for the best projects related to water quality, water resource management, water protection, water treatment, or wastewater treatment. The winner of the U.S. Stockholm Junior Water Prize is Jose Centeno, Amai Toy Lobana, and Frida Monreal from Fontana Unified School District. Our final Regeneron ISEF Regional Award this evening is the Yale Science and Engineering Award. This award is given to the most outstanding 11th grade team or individual exhibiting in the areas of computer science, engineering, physics, or chemistry. The winner of the Yale Science and Engineering Award is Yuan Bai from Stone Ridge Preparatory Academy. Now, I would like to share the names of those students that the Environmental Protection Agency has chosen to acknowledge for their projects in the areas of environmental sciences and environmental engineering. These students will receive a letter of encouragement from the EPA. From Adelanto Elementary School District, Charles Brown. From Barstow Unified School District, Tyler King. From Chino Valley Unified School District, Amber Lynn. From Eastern Sierra Unified School District, Ellery McQuilkin. From Fontana Unified School District, Jose Centeno, Amai Toy Lobana, and Frida Monreal. From Redlands Unified School District, Abir Khan. From Upland Unified School District, Connor Ewart, Jessica Liu, Bethany Liu, Ariana McNair, and Isabel Steele. From Yucaipa Calamesa Joint Unified School District, Nicholas Zoba. Congratulations, students. And now, a few videos of SimCef participants expressing their thoughts about this year's SimCef event. You'll be hearing from Derek Linenberger and Bridget Montes from Cal Aero Preserve Academy and Stephanie Barcera from Ruth Harris Middle School. Um, hi, my name is DJ Linenberger, and our project was different this year because it was virtual, and since it was virtual, we weren't actually able to connect with our partners and meet with them to design a backboard and everything else. My name is Bridget Montez, and one of the strengths about doing our project virtually was that we were able to double check any mistakes we had made and just make sure that our project was the best that we could make it. Hello, my name is Sandra Macera, and I'm a seventh grade student at Ruta Harris. What my project is about is safety within the six feet distance. My project was in regards to the six feet distance to make sure if it was safe or not. My project consisted of a spray nozzle, a ray of light, and a measurement tool. I conducted two tests, one with mask and one without mask. I conducted two, 10 tests each, and at the end result, I had a result of that saying six feet apart is in fact safe for society. Next is a presentation of the bronze medal winners by division, beginning with elementary. These awardees will be announced in alphabetical order by district. Students in the elementary division, grades four and five, earning a bronze medal for achievement in this year's science and engineering fair are, from Barso Unified School District, Wyatt McDonald and Chloe Millett. From Chino Valley Unified School District, Jack Wong. And from Colton Joint Unified School District, Andrew Ramirez. From Redlands Unified School District, Sharia Varshney. From Rialto Unified School District, Mia Carrillo. And from San Bernardino City Unified School District, Zoe Alexis Razo. From Yucaipa Calamesa Joint Unified School District, Abraham Beltran from Morongo Unified School District and Landon Davis. In the junior division, grades 6, 7, and 8, our bronze medal winners are from Barso Unified School District, Caitlin King. 
From Chino Valley Unified School District, Isabella Maldonado and Sofia Pichardo. From Ontario Montclair School District, Aiden Chen, Ixi Young Choi, Sienna Gaitan, Xavier Gonzalez, Leslie Gutierrez, and Camila Verdusco. From Redlands Unified School District, Abir Khan, Cade Mitchell, and Abhinav Pitaparthi. From Rialto Unified School District, William Vasquez. From San Bernardino City Unified School District, Jason Magdaleno. From Yucaipa Calamesa Joint Unified School District, Julius Solorio Coyle and Nicholas Zoba. And in the senior division, grades 9, 10, 11, and 12, our bronze medal winners are from Colton Joint Unified School District, America Zapien. From Upland Unified School District, Sitlali Madrigon. From San Bernardino City Unified School District, Gabriel Carrillo, Miranda Owen, Joshua Valdez, and Michaela Valdez. From Upland Unified School District, Sofia Alahilo, Ashley Hogue, Jessica Liu, Reina Martinez, and Ella Youngstrom. Congratulations to all our Bronze Award winners. Now, the silver medals for achievement in this year's Science and Engineering Fair. The following are the elementary division winners. From Chino Valley Unified School District, Fiona Bai, James Cotta, and Mary Wilson. From Colton Joint Unified School District, Adrina Calderon. From Redlands Unified School District, Jaden Liu. From Rialto Unified School District, Kimani Henderson and Brielle Perry. From San Bernardino City Unified School District, Molly Othen Carrasco. In the junior division, our silver medal winners are from Barso Unified School District, Tyler King. From Granite Mountain Charter School, Abigail Cherian. From Redlands Unified School District, Soria Muth and Shrevan Pili. And in the senior division, silver medal winners are from Barso Unified School District, Madison McDonald. From Fontana Unified School District, Jose Centeno, Amaitoy Lobana, and Frida Monreal. From Upland Unified School District, Alice Peng and Nora Roberts. Next is the state alternate silver medals. These chosen few will advance to state in the event our gold medal recipients are unable to attend. Students who will serve as state alternates and are earning a silver medal for achievement in this year's science and engineering fair are Hannah Chase from Chino Valley Unified School District, Junior Division. Tao Bang Trixie Lee Lei from Chino Valley Unified School District, Junior Division. Camille Rosenwig from Etiwanda School District, Junior Division. Varun Srivastava from Redlands Unified School District, Senior Division. Maria Watkins from Upland Unified School District, Senior Division. Congratulations to all our Silver Award winners. Our gold medal winners representing the highest achievement in science and engineering projects. While all divisions earn gold medals, only the junior and senior division students, grades 6 through 12, qualify to represent San Bernardino, Inyo, and Mono counties in the state competition at the California Science and Engineering Fair. The following are the gold medal winners in the elementary division. From Chino Valley Unified School District, Aubrey Figueroa, Samantha Singhi, and Christian Sohait. From Colton Joint Unified School District, Ava Frincoes, and from Eastern Sierra Unified School District, Jack Long. From Colton Joint Unified School District, Shay Torres, from San Bernardino City Unified School District, Naomi Tramaro, and Allison Jaquez. From the Junior Division, our gold medal winners are from Chino Valley Unified School District, Amber Lin, Chloe Utterback, and Ava Wong. From Fontana Unified School District, Alejandra Delgado and Barbara Gonzalez. From Redlands Unified School District, Molly Grotham and Layla Roloff. From San Bernardino County Office of Education, Maximilian Goodley. And finally in the senior division, our gold medal winners are from Chino Valley Unified School District, McKenna Bailey, Komol Carr, Kira Feifeng Cheng and William Sehagan. From Eastern Sierra Unified School District, Allery McQuilkin. From Stone Ridge Preparatory Academy, Yuan Bai. From Upland Unified School District, Jesse DeCenso. From Yucaipa Calamesa Joint Unified School District, Matthew Fogel. Congratulations to all our gold medal award winners. During our ceremony's opening, you met our SimSev coordinator, Mr. Mariano Aranda. 
His daughter, Cassidy, recently began her career at the Boeing Company in St. Louis, Missouri. She has sent along a message about her journey into the science and engineering career field. Hello, everybody. My name is Cassidy Aranda, and I'm a recent graduate from California Baptist University's Electrical and Computer Engineering class of 2020. My journey to engineering started way back when I was in high school, and I created my first balsa wood plane. And then from there, today, I am currently an integration test engineer for the Growler program at the Boeing Company. I'm over here in St. Louis, and I hope you join me soon in the world of engineering. Thank you, Cassidy. And now a few more student videos. Here are Arjunina Calderon from Ruth Grimes Elementary School, Varun Srivastava from Redlands High School, and Matthew Fogel from Ukaipa High School. Hi, my name is Arjuna Calderon, and my engineering project is on removing calcium deposit from swimming pool tiles using my engineering tool called Homemade Rotating Sanding Tool. It's a tool that I designed using a six inch flexible plastic and sandpaper. It's held by a washer and screws on a power drill with the rotating motion. My homemade rotating sanding tool removes the calcium deposit from the swimming pool tiles caused by the water that's in the pool. The COVID-19 virus has affected different communities very differently across the country and shortages of critical medical supplies have persisted throughout the pandemic. The goal of my project was to estimate the COVID-19 vulnerabilities in communities across the country based on demographics so that COVID resources could be distributed accordingly. My model, which was shown to be of about 83% accurate, allows for more effective allocation of resources like vaccines, PPE, and other medical supplies nationwide by federal, state, and local authorities. The competition this year is especially meaningful because it shows the dedication of the science fair community. Challenges are inevitable to science, and the fact that we are still here shows the commitment of student researchers to work on a project they are passionate about. We can still make progress during a time where so much else has been shut down. We're still able to share ideas and learn from the work of others. I know my peers would join me in saying that we are thankful that we can still participate in the science fair and not lose a year, because after all, science does not slow down. Now, I would like to tell you a little bit about the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair. Regeneron ISEF is a program of Society for Science. It is the world's largest international pre-college science competition. Each year, approximately 1,800 high school students from more than 75 countries, regions, and territories are awarded the opportunity to showcase their independent research and compete for nearly $5 million in prizes. Hello, I am Maya Oshmira, President and CEO of the Society for Science and publisher of Science News. Congratulations on participating in your local science fair. The Society founded the International Science and Engineering Fair in 1950. Today, the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair is the largest pre-collegiate STEM competition in the world. We are proud to have built this fair over 70 years. When we began the National Science Fair, which is what the event was once called, included only a handful of fairs. Today, we have over 400 fairs that participate from 80 countries, regions, and territories. When I was in high school, I competed in science fairs and it changed my life. And I know it will do the same for you. I'm so proud of each and every young person who's competing today. You are poised to solve our world's most intractable problems. I wish everyone the best of luck. You are an inspiration to your community and the world. I'm George Ancopoulos, Regeneron's co-founder, president, and chief scientific officer. When I co-founded Regeneron, along with my business partner, Len Schleifer, more than 30 years ago, we had a clear vision to build a company driven by science, a company where the scientists were the heroes. Every day at Regeneron, we translate science into medicine. We use our homegrown technologies to discover and deliver life-transforming medicines that help people and change their lives. At Regeneron, we wanna help find and inspire the next generation of scientific innovators. That's why we sponsor both the Regeneron Science Talent Search and Regeneron ISEF in partnership with the Society for Science to help inspire, celebrate, and elevate young scientific superstars. All the students here today are poised to be the scientific heroes of tomorrow. You may have the potential to find solutions to the existential threats we face today and the major challenges we will be facing in the future. Congratulations to all of the student researchers here today and also to their teachers, their mentors, and their parents who supported them throughout this challenging year. 
And a big thank you to the fair directors, organizers, and volunteer judges who have made it possible for students to have the opportunity to compete at Regeneron ISAC. Finally, the moment we have been waiting for. I am honored to introduce the Regeneron ISEF finalists who have won the right to compete for awards and distinction in the largest high school STEM competition in the world. Good luck to all the students who will be competing in the Regeneron ISEF. Tonight, we have three ISEF finalists who will be representing SIMCEF in this year's virtual Regeneron ISEF event in May. This year's Regeneron ISEF winners are Komul Carr from Chino Valley Unified School District with their project Quantum Cosmology, an exploration of the origins of the universe and quantum physics. Ellery McQuilkin from Eastern Sierra Unified School District with their project Quantifying Volume of the Dana Glacier using field measurements and 3D modeling. And Matthew Fogel from Yucaipa Calamesa Joint Unified School District with their project Optimizing the Keyboard Layout using Genetic Algorithms and Heuristic Approach. A big congratulations to these students for this extraordinary achievement. And now, we will move on to the Broadcom Masters Awards. Broadcom Masters affiliated science fairs around the country nominate the top 10% of the junior division participants to enter this prestigious competition, where 30 finalists from across the United States present their research project in Washington, D.C. This year's Broadcom Masters nominees are Tyler King from Barso Unified School District with their project, Project Soil. Hannah Chase from Chino Valley Unified School District with their project, Go With The Flow, How Magnetic Fields Affect The Flow Of Water. Amber Lin from Chino Valley Unified School District with their project, Fundamentals Of Fog Formation And Measuring Cloud Opacity. Ava Wong from Chino Valley Unified School District with their project, You Put That In Your Mouth? <laughs> Abir Khan from Redlands Unified School District with their project, Sustainable Farming. Layla Roloff from Redlands Unified School District with their project, Prime Slime, testing the elasticity of various common slime activators. Maximilian Goodley from San Bernardino County Office of Education with their project, To Seed or Not to Seed, That is the Question. Tonight's final awards are the Sweepstakes in Science and Technology Education Partnership Awards. These awards are given to projects that were identified by judges as unique and outstanding in their presentation, preparation, and delivery. The Sweepstakes Award winners will also receive this year's STEP Award from the Science and Technology Education Partnership. The STEP Award is given to the project that shows high quality research. The winners of the STEP Award will receive a $50 prize in the elementary division, $125 for the junior division, and $250 for the senior division. The following students are this year's Sweepstakes and STEP Award winners. In the elementary division, Jack Long from Eastern Sierra Unified School District with their project, Mono Lake, Is It Cool Enough to Freeze? In the junior division, Amber Lynn from Chino Valley Unified School District with their project, Fundamentals of Fog Formation and Measuring Cloud Opacity. And in the senior division, Ellery McQuilkin from Eastern Sierra Unified School District with their project, Quantifying Volume of the Dana Glacier Using Field Measurements and 3D Modeling. Congratulations, students. As tonight's ceremony comes to a close, I have some very important information for the junior and senior gold medal winners, Silver State alternate winners, Broadcom Masters, and the three Regeneron ISEF winners. Please check in with your teacher or district coordinator over the next week. They will be receiving an email from Mr. Mariano Aranda providing you with the directions and next steps needed for your specific award. Remember, as an awardee, it is your responsibility to follow up, so please contact Mr. Aranda directly at the email on your screen if you have not received your information by Thursday, March 25th. Certificates, medals, and trophies provided through San Bernardino County Superintendent of Schools will be coordinated by the SBCSS Student Events Department. Please allow a week for Mr. Aranda and the Student Events Department to contact you before reaching out yourselves. An extraordinary thank you again to all our special guests and partners, tremendous gratitude to all our new and returning staff and community volunteers, and abundant esteem to the students and teachers who made this such a tremendous event. Congratulations to all our participants. This concludes the 2021 San Bernardino Inyo Mono Science and Engineering Fair Awards Ceremony. We hope to see you all next year.